Okay, in this video, we're going to be doing uh, the integral from negative pi to pi of 2x quantity 1 plus sine of x over 1 plus cosine squared of x dx. This is a problem where you're going to have to use the King procedure twice, which is really neat. Uh, it's kind of like integration by parts. Occasionally, you'll need to use uh, the procedure twice. Same thing here. So we're going to use King twice. Let's check this out. Uh, all right. So for starters, with this, you always want to let um, the whole integral equal i. What we're going to do is we're going to use king, and we're going to add the two integrals that we get together. So um, remember, when you're doing king, uh, you get uh, the substitution you make is a plus b and then minus x. So it's pi, well, it's really negative pi plus pi minus x. So we're going to replace every x with negative x. So we're doing that. We're going to add the two integrals together. That'll give us 2i. Um, is going to be the integral from negative pi to pi. You just get the original integral, so 2x quantity 1 plus sine of x over 1 plus cosine squared of x. And then plus the integral we get when we do the king substitution. So uh, every x becomes negative x. So it's going to be 2 negative x uh, plus 1 plus sine of negative x over 1 plus cosine uh, squared of negative x. But we need to clean this up. So uh, a lot of properties of trig functions get used uh, with this procedure. In particular, for this one, uh, we will have that the sine of negative x is the negative of the sine of x, and also that the cosine of negative x is the cosine of x. So sine is odd, cosine is even. We're going to make those substitutions. So we'll get minus 2x quantity 1 minus sine of x over uh, having cosine squared or or cosine of negative x squared, it doesn't matter, you just get one plus cosine squared because we're squaring. Um, and also because cosine of negative x is cosine x. Okay, if we simplify this, uh, the numerators of the fractions are 2x plus 2x sine of x minus 2x, so 2x and minus 2x, those are gone, uh, plus 2x sine of x. So really we have 2x sine of x plus 2x sine of x, so we have 4x sine of x. So 2i is integral from negative pi to pi of 4x sine of x over 1 plus cosine squared of x. And then because we have a 2i is equal to 4 times this integral, we can at this point just say that i is equal to 2 times this integral. Um, and then you say to yourself, like, where do I go from here? <laughs> um, so this also looks like an integral that we would use King procedure on. So I'm going to try to do it. Uh, so we have this integral, we're going to use king again, uh, and we're going to try to add again. And this isn't going to really work, but I'm going to do it anyway just to show you what will happen. So still the substitution that we end up making is uh, a plus b minus x, so negative pi plus pi is 0 minus x. So we're replacing every x with negative x. So we will get 2i because we're adding them is 2, the integral negative pi to pi, the original integral, which is x sine of x. Um, and then uh, over 1 plus cosine squared. Then when we do the second part, we replace every x with negative x. So minus x, sine of negative x. Uh, this, when we simplify it, just gives us 2i is 2 integral from negative pi to pi of 2x sine of x over 1 plus cosine squared of x dx. This is um, the exact same integral we started with. So this isn't working for us. Uh, so at this point, you have to ask yourself, like, what can we do? All right, so, and I don't know if you notice these things before you've done a lot of practice problems or not, but if you look at our function, basically, that we're integrating, so if the function is x sine of x over 1 plus cosine squared, what we want to do is we want to try to use uh, the fact that maybe this is even or odd, right? Because if it's odd, then our answer is just 0. If it's even, we can do 0 to pi and double it. So we'll, we'll substitute negative x, f of negative x is going to be uh, negative x sine of negative x over 1, and then plus cosine squared of negative x. But we know that sine of negative x is negative sine of x. We know cosine of negative x is cosine of x. So this is the same as you have negative x times negative sine of x. So x sine of x over 1 plus cosine squared of x. So f of negative x is equal to f of x. This is an even function. Since it's an even function, we can rewrite our integral as uh, there's already a 2 in front of it, so it's going to be 2, and then we're going to do 2 times the integral from 0 to pi of x sine of x over 1 plus cosine squared. So 
it's a little weird that you know you try to do it one way and it doesn't work and then you use this even property and it's going to work out for us these things happen you know you just got to like roll with it uh and be willing to try things so we're going to try to integrate this i again i'm just going to use king and add uh so i'll get 2i is going to be 4 the integral from 0 to pi um our original thing x sine of 1 plus cosine squared of x and then what we need to do is we need to uh, do our substitution. So the substitution this time is 0 plus pi minus x. So every x becomes pi minus x. So it'll be pi minus x sine of pi minus x all over 1 plus cosine squared of pi minus x. All right, and then dx. So now we need to know uh, what's going on with sine of pi minus x and cosine of pi minus x. These are identities that you should definitely know um, is, well, if you are studying for JDE main, I can't imagine not knowing these. If you're only doing these out of like interest, I could imagine needing to think a little harder about some of these things. Um, so sine of pi minus x is the sine of x. Cosine of pi minus x is the negative of cosine of x. If you do a lot of problems, you'll be using those properties a lot. So you got to know them. Um, all right, let's make those substitutions. So the pi minus x is still there. Uh, sine of pi minus x becomes sine of x cosine of pi minus x becomes negative cosine, but it's negative cosine squared, so that's just cosine squared again. Um, so we have the same denominator. Let's combine these fractions. Uh, in the numerator of the second fraction, uh, we're going to have, uh, so what do we do? We have uh, pi times sine, so there's a pi sine, and then we have minus x sine of x. So the overall numerator is x sine of x, plus pi sine of x minus x sine of x. So the x sine of x's are gone, which is like the amazing thing that the King procedure does for you. So we end up with just pi sine of x. I'm gonna factor out the pi. So we have pi zero to pi sine of x over one plus cosine squared dx. You can do a substitution on this or you can recognize that this is an arctan. So uh, there should be a negative sign in the numerator and there's not. So we put a negative there, a negative on the outside to balance it. Arctan of cosine of x, and we're going from zero to pi. So now we just gotta know some values. Uh, we're gonna do the arctan of the cosine of pi is negative one, so arctan of negative one, minus uh, the arctan of cosine of zero is one, Cosine of zero is one. I messed that up. Uh, I guess I'll try to fix that on the fly here. You know, it's like I write it out, I think about it, and then I go back and I mess it up. So this is actually one. There we go. Um, and now we need to know these values. Uh, it's That's the problem is when you like, in your mind, you're like, oh, I've got this, but I've got to show the work. Like I already knew what I wanted the answer to be, so I didn't notice that I had done it wrong. All right, so we got negative two pi, arctan of negative one is negative pi over four, arctan of one is pi over four. So we have negative two pi minus pi over two, basically. Um, so the, the twos cancel, uh, the negatives cancel, and we just get pi squared, which is our final answer. Um, so this is a really good example of using King procedure where you have to do it twice, and in the middle, you have to think about even and odd functions. So super cool problem. I hope this was helpful and good luck.